Hi, I'm Doug Aiken, owner of Prestige Motorsports. Today we're going to talk about quality and how you know you're truly buying a quality built engine. Now many are going to say that they have the best quality, been around the longest, they're an industry leader, what have you. We're going to provide you information so you can make that decision for yourself. We're going to cover parts and labor. It's very safe to say better parts are going to equal a better product, just as important as the labor. What processes they go through in order to get to the end product. So we'll go ahead and have a look at the parts, show you around the facility, and then you can make an educated decision of what you feel is the best quality. So talking about parts, how do you know you're getting quality parts in your engine? Well, it all starts online uh, with the listing you're looking at as well as possibly the estimate you receive. It's important that you either get or ask for detailed line-by-line -line specifics. They should tell you who makes the product, possibly give you a part number and a description. That's very important, so we'll show you that. But beforehand, I want to mention that some say that they only use USA-made components. I'm not going to stand here and tell you that because the fact is that wouldn't be the truth. But what we use is national name brands. Now, if you're not familiar with those, uh, we'll kind of what we're going to show you will help you with that. But um, the key is, is to know that some of those national brands have outsourced their uh, manufacturing to China. We have no control over that. But what you have control of is, is choosing a builder that you feel can accurately distinguish what is good quality and what's not, and what's the best quality for the intended application. Okay, so here I'm going to show you an example of a detailed estimate, what you should look for from any competitor or any engine builder. Any good engine builder should provide this to you. Uh, like I was mentioning on detailed specifics, you'll see here we've got part numbers, manufacturer, and a description. This now gives you the tool to do the research online if you go to Google or ask your peers um, you know, if it's a good quality component. And what you want to look for, what's a big red flag, is if this line item just simply said precision ground crankshaft. It gives you no concept of basically who the manufacturer is and what kind of quality it carries. The same goes for performance aluminum cylinder heads, um, high performance pistons or roller rockers. Not all components are going to be of the same quality. So it's very important that you know where it comes from and who manufactures it. We've went to great lengths to provide you this kind of detail. So make sure to ask for that, that you get a detailed line by line specific estimate so you know where your hard earned money is going. You'll see we have multiple pages here. So again, just ask your, your potential builder for a line by line specific estimate. Now before we take a look at the facility and the labor side, what, what you also want to ask for is a detailed build sheet. Any good builder is going to provide this for you. Now here at Prestige we use this for a quality control purpose as well as documentation for our clients. So you see a, a technician has signed off on uh, torque specifications for the rods and the mains. Um, they've basically recorded what they torqued it to and what kind of lubrication they've used. Um, you know, you'll see detailed specifics for rod and main bearing clearances. Um, we also cover, you know, piston to wall clearances. Very, very detailed. And again, any good builder is going to provide that for you. Uh, we also have balance sheets that uh, record all the weights and uh, ensure that you've got a good balanced rotating assembly. Um, and it's also important to point out how do they arrive at these types of specifications. Um, do they have precision measuring equipment in order to uh, come up with these numbers or are they just simply plastic gauging bearings and ball miking them? Um, you know, uh, really any good engine builder, if they can provide this to you, you can pretty be, much be assured that they're using precision equipment in order to come up with those, uh, those uh, figures for you. So uh, make sure to ask for a detailed build sheet. Very, very important. Now we'll have a look at uh, the machine shop here. Any good builder most likely has an in-house machine shop. It's very important though not to make that assumption and actually ask, do you do your machining in-house? This is about the only way you can ensure uh, you know, the quality of the product at the end uh, and can control that quality. Also make some observations and look around how clean and organized is it. Uh, it may seem like such a simple thing, but if they take care of their equipment and it's clean in an organized environment, it's probably going to say a lot about um, the care and detail taken in your engine build. So once again, ask, do they have a machine shop and can you see it? They should be more than happy to show this to you. Okay, it's important to know where the engine's built, so you want to ask or observe if they have a clean room or assembly room where the engine is put together. 
This ensures that there's no foreign debris present when the engine build's taking place. And we'll also take a look at how the engine's built. You'll notice our engines are on engine stands. This is a professional way to build an engine because you can accurately or uh, easily rotate it over to uh, carefully install the high quality components in the motor. Some you'll see build it on a table and that they have to flop it over onto the deck surface uh, in order to put the pistons in it and things like that. They're risking scratching critical sealing surfaces like the head gasket surface while they're building the engine. Just not a professional manner or way to build an engine. So uh, take note of that as well. Okay, another simple observation to make is on paint. Okay, you'll notice uh, we've nicely painted this block black, nothing fancy, but we don't have overspray all over the deck surface, in the cylinder bores, uh, in the lifter valley. I know it seems so trivial, but it's just another example of the care and detail taken when they build your engine. Uh, so pay attention. If you see a bunch of overspray in the bores and on the deck surface, is that really what you think of when you think of quality? All right, now let's take a look at how the engine's tested. First and foremost, make sure you're purchasing a tested engine and as that, dyno tested, not hot run tested. Don't be fooled by that. It only gets you part of the way there. Biggest difference is the dyno applies a load. This area behind the engine is where the water break is and that applies the load to the motor. Uh, very, very crucial. This is the only way that you can detect uh, you know, faulty parts as well as properly tune the engine. And what I mean by that is in order to tune the carburetor through the RPM range, we can't just simply rev it up on a stand. We have to apply a load and go through the RPM range. Um, same thing goes for detecting faulty spark plugs or wires. Again, a load must be applied. Uh, there's many times that they won't show up if you're just simply revving the engine up. Uh, oil leaks are the same thing. Uh, very, very important because we spend a great deal of time installing the motor into the car to later find out it leaks because it was never ran through the RPM range with, again, a load applied. So super, super important to buy a dyno tested engine. Also make sure that they're testing your particular equipment. If you're purchasing a carburetor and a distributor, front pulleys if it comes with it, uh, also make sure that they're testing your carburetor, your distributor, uh, when it comes to the front pulleys. If they're gonna install them, make sure that they put the belt on it and make sure that the alternator charges, the water pump is moving adequate water. Uh, all those things are crucial to the final end tune-up. Uh, and to verify the integrity of the components they use. So very, very crucial by a dyno tested engine. Okay, and lastly here we're gonna take a moment and look at uh, shipping. So you see, we build our, all of our own crates. Um, we build our own steel engine stands that you know fasten down to the crate base so it's secure throughout shipping. Very important when you spend good money on a package that it is in fact solid throughout shipping. Uh, this one here you'll see is boxed up, so it's a fully enclosed crate. Uh, we can put a lot of product in here. Uh, this is kind of what sets us apart at Prestige, but you want to kind of know how is it crated, how is the products line, uh, laid out, uh, and is it going to be safe and arrive to you in one piece. Uh, so I just found that this might be important to show you on the shipping and crating side. Uh, this just happens to be the lid that goes on that crate. We've got a fuel system, fuel tank, and radiator and fans package all of it in one package so it saves you a lot on shipping um, so just something to kind of be aware of is how is it created and shipped and then also if they're offering you um, transmission packages or other parts um, it might be important to know like what we do is an automatic transmission worksheet or a manual and this goes through all the specifications for converter end play to the back of the engine uh, also clutch free play for hydraulic release bearings and such um, we actually pre-fit them and take all these measurements and provide this with you so if they're selling you a, a transmission package or other parts along with the motor might be valuable to know do they do this or do they just simply send it to you uh, from the manufacturer so there's a big big advantage here so um, just take note of that as well I want to personally thank you for taking the time to watch this video Hopefully I've provided some information for you to uh, ask certain questions, make certain observations, to truly know you're buying a quality built product. And uh, for more information on our company, uh, what products we have available, as well as uh, educational videos, 
please uh, feel free to visit our website or browse our YouTube channel. So thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.